First, though, flooding is a major concern as Dorian inches closer to our coast. Yeah, the fear even more real for those who have dealt with flooding in the past. News 6's Lauren Korn is live at Melting Field in DeLand as people prepare for those rising waters. Lauren, what are people telling you out there? Well, you know, first of all, it's been pouring here on and off, and yet people are still out here. I'll take a step out of the way, uh, filling up the sandbags, but they are preparing because a lot of areas here in DeLand are prone to flooding. We sp spoke with the city earlier today, and they say that they're doing everything they can to prepare for that potential flooding. All this flew to the back. Meet Connie Gutierrez. They won't stay up no more. The family of 10 are still feeling the effects of Hurricane Irma here at Shadyland Mobile Home Park, one of the areas in DeLand that's prone to flooding. Right up there, you can still see through inside. The last hurricane ripped off the trailer's awning, took out windows, and flooded parts of the home. That includes Gutierrez's sister's room, who's disabled. Her room was taken away from her, and she's now in a smaller room because the roof is still leaking on the other side of the house. Gutierrez showed us her home and some of the windows they've been able to fix. Hopefully all the windows won't crack this year, but all this up here leaks. She says the family plans to stay home instead of riding it out in a shelter because she says it's just not feasible for them. Three of them are uh, all disability. And they have already stocked up on sandbags. The lines never slowed down at Melching Field where residents, even in the pouring rain, collected sandbags hoping to deter potential flooding. We've been uh, just making sure all of our retention ponds are uh, pumped down as low as possible. All of our uh, lift stations are on generators. So we're, we're prepared as, as much as we can be. As for Gutierrez, she has done her best to prepare and hopes to receive some aid this time around. Just help the ones that really need the help and don't turn them away. Now, y'all can see that city workers are out here helping folks, and they have sandbags. They'll be open here tonight at 7. This is the only location in DeLand for y'all to come and get sandbags. They will be open tomorrow and throughout the weekend. However, you must bring your own shovel, and you must bring your own bag. Julie? All right, Lauren, thank you. Lauren Korn reporting live in Volusia County for us.